In this video, let's practice multiplying numbers using the standard algorithm together. For number one, we have 734 multiplied by five. Now the number that has more digits is always gonna go on top when we're setting up our standard algorithm. So 734 definitely has more digits. We have 734. And we're gonna go ahead and multiply that by five. Now this five here only has one digit and it's in the ones place. Let's go ahead and put that underneath the four in the ones place. We're gonna go ahead and multiply this using the standard algorithm. All right, for starters, we're gonna go ahead and multiply this four and five together. Four times five, that's gonna be 20. We'll put the zero in the ones place, carry the two into the tens place, because it's really 20. Then we're gonna multiply this five and three to get 15, then add this two to get 17, which is really gonna be 170, but with a seven in the tens place and carry the one. And then finally, we'll multiply this five and seven to get 35, add the one to get 36, that six is gonna go in the hundreds place and the three is technically in the thousands place. So the product here or the answer to this multiplication problem is gonna be 3,670. All right, let's try another one together. For number two, we have 492 multiplied by three. First, we're gonna find the number with more digits, which is gonna be this 492. And the number with smaller digits is going to be this three or less digits, it's three. So the one with more is gonna go on top. So we're gonna have 492, go ahead and write it nice and neat. We're gonna to go to multiply that by three. Now three is just a one digit number, so it goes into ones place. And let's go ahead and multiply this out using that standard algorithm. For starters, we'll multiply the ones place by the ones place, three times two, that's gonna equal six. We don't have to carry any numbers, which is nice. Next, we're gonna take this three and multiply by nine. That's gonna be 27. We'll put the seven in the tens place and two in the hundreds place. And then we're gonna finally take this three and multiply it by four, that's gonna be 12 add the two to get 14. So the four is in the hundreds place and the one is gonna go in the thousands place. So the product here or the answer to this multiplication problem is gonna be 1,476. Here's number three. For number three, we have 495, and we're gonna multiply this by 25. Now 495 has three digits, and then this 25 has two digits. So the 495 is gonna go on top here, and then the 25 is gonna go on bottom. Here we have a three digit by a two digit number, so we have to stay organized with so 495. We're gonna go ahead and multiply that by 25, and we're gonna put the two in the tens place and the five in the ones place, just like this. Let's start off by multiplying the ones place by the ones place, five times five, that's gonna be 25. So put the five in the ones place and carry the two up top. Then we're gonna take this five multiplied by nine, that's gonna be 45 plus two, which is gonna be 47. The seven's gonna go in the tens place, and then the four is gonna go into the hundreds place. Finally, this five is gonna multiply by this four to get 20, and then add this four to get 24. This four goes in the hundreds place, and the two goes in the thousands place. Alrighty, now that this five has multiplied by each of the top numbers here, we're done using it. And we're gonna go ahead and take care of crossing out all of these numbers as well, because we don't need it. And now it's gonna be the two's turn to multiply by all the numbers on top. But because this two is in the tens place, technically it represents 20. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a placeholder here to represent that it's in the tens place and that we're not putting anything in that ones place. So let's get, get started. So two times five, that's gonna be 10. We're gonna go ahead and put a zero here and then carry the one into the tens place. And then we're gonna go ahead and take this two and then multiply it by nine. That's gonna be 18 plus one, that's gonna be 19. That nine's gonna go in the hundreds place. And we're gonna carry one. And then finally two multiplied by four is eight plus one, that's gonna be nine. So that's gonna go in the thousands place here. Now these are called your partial products. So we're gonna go ahead and add these two rows together to get the actual product or the answer here. So if we go ahead and add five plus zero, that's going to be five. Next, if we go ahead and add this seven plus zero, that's going to be seven. We'll go ahead and put that here. After that, we have four plus nine, that's gonna be 13. We'll put the three in the hundred space and carry the one. And then finally, this one plus two plus nine, that should equal 12. So the two is gonna go in the thousands place and the one is gonna go in the 10 thousands place. So the product here is gonna be 12,375. Here's another uh, example where we're gonna multiply a three digit by a two digit number. So uh, here we have uh, 671 and we're gonna go ahead and multiply that by 74. So the number with more digits is gonna be 671. So let's go ahead and put 671 on top and we'll multiply that by 74 and just be careful to line up those place values. So seven on top of seven and the one underneath the four. Let's start by taking this four and multiply it by one, the ones place by the ones place, four times one is gonna be four. 
following we do four times seven, that's gonna be 28. Let's go ahead and put the eight in the tens place and carry the two into the hundreds place. And then we have uh, four times six is 24 plus two, which is 26. So six goes in the hundreds place and the two is gonna go in the thousands place. Alrighty, so this four did its job and multiplied by all the numbers on top. And so we're gonna move on to dealing with the seven, but keep in mind that that seven really represents 70. So we need a placeholder here to represent that. So seven times one, that's gonna equal seven. We can go ahead and put that in the tens place here. And then we go ahead and say that we have seven times seven, that's gonna be 49. It's gonna be a nine over here in the hundreds place, carry the four. And then finally we have seven times six, which is 42, plus this four, which is gonna be 46. So the six is in the thousands place and the four is gonna be in the 10 thousands place. And now we're just gonna go ahead and add these two partial products together. This four plus zero, that's gonna equal four. After that, we have this eight plus seven, that's gonna be 15, we're gonna carry the one. Then we're gonna add this one plus six plus nine, I believe that's gonna be 16, we'll put the six and carry the one. Then we can add this one plus two plus six, and that's gonna equal nine. And then finally, we just have this four over here, so we can just bring that down and put a four. So I think our product here is gonna be 49,654. All right, let's check out number five. For this fifth example, we have five times 739. Now 739 is the bigger number or the one with more digits rather. So we're gonna put that one on top and then we're gonna go ahead and put the five on the bottom just because it has less digits, right? I think that's what we did earlier. I wanna keep those colors consistent. I think that's right, good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this 739 on top. So 739. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and multiply that by five. So the five, go and put it underneath that nine in the ones place, okay? So let's go ahead and set up just like this. Now let's go ahead and multiply this five by nine, five times nine, that's 45. Let's put the five, carry the four. After that, we're going to do this five times three, which is 15, plus the four is gonna be 19. So the nine's gonna go in the tens place, carry the one into the hundreds place. And then we have five times seven, which is gonna be 35. And add the one here, that's gonna be 36. So the six is in the hundreds place, the three is in the thousands place. So. We have a product here of 3,695. All right, here's another example. Here's number six, where we have a smaller number multiplied by a bigger number or less digits multiplied by something with more digits. This 904 has more digits, so that's gonna go on top. This seven has less digits, it's gonna go on bottom. So let's go ahead and put this 904, that's gonna go on top, we're gonna multiply that by seven. That's gonna go on bottom in the ones place, and that is how we're gonna set up this uh, multiplication. Now seven times four first is gonna be 28. Let's put that eight and then carry the two. After that, we have seven times zero, which is zero, plus the two, which is gonna be two. That's gonna go in the tens place here. And then finally, we have this seven multiplied by nine. That's gonna be 63. So three is in the hundreds place, and then six is in the thousands place. So our product here, I think, is gonna be 6,328. Here's number seven. For number seven, we have 94 multiplied by 592. Now 592 has three digits and 94 only has two digits, so the 592 is gonna go on top here. So let's go ahead and put 592 on top, and let's go ahead and multiply that by 94. Make sure you put the nine underneath the other nine in the tens place and the four underneath the two in the ones place. All right, let's start with this four. Four times two, that's gonna equal eight. Let's put that in the ones place. Now we're gonna multiply this four by this nine, that's 36. Six goes in the tens place, carry the three into the hundreds place. After that, we have four times five, which is 20, plus the three is 23. Three is in the hundreds place, two is gonna go into the thousands place. So we're done with this four now, and we're done using this three. Now we're moving over and talking about this nine, which really represents 90. So let's go ahead and put a zero here to show that placeholder, and we can get started now. So nine times two, that's going to be 18. So let's go ahead and put an eight in the uh, tens place and carry the one into the tens place as well here. And then we're gonna go ahead and take this nine times nine, which is 81. 81 plus one is 82. So we put a two here and then carry the eight on top into the hundreds place. And then finally we have nine times five, which is gonna be 45, and then 45 plus eight is gonna be 53. We'll put the three in the thousands place and then the five in the 10 thousands place. After that, we can take these partial products and then add these two together. If we go ahead and say eight plus zero, that's just going to be eight. Then we go ahead and say, what's six plus eight? That's gonna be 14. I'll put the four and carry the one. 
After that, we're gonna do one plus three plus two. I believe that's going to be six. We'll put the six, and we don't have to carry anything, which is nice. Two plus three is gonna be five. Let's put the five here. And then we just have this five hanging out over here, which is gonna come down. So our products here, I believe, is going to be 55,648. Here is one final practice problem. Let's see if we can do a good job on this one. Now, which one has more digits? It's gonna be this 413, that one has three digits. And then this 87 only has two digits. So let's go ahead and put this 413 on top, 413. Let's go ahead and multiply that by this 87. 87 is gonna go on bottom here. Alrighty, let's go ahead and set it up just like this. And let's get started with the seven. Seven times three, that's gonna be 21. Put the one in the ones place, carry the two in the tens place. Now seven times one is gonna be seven, plus the two is nine. I'm gonna go ahead and put that nine down here in the tens place. Then we have this seven times four, which is gonna be 28. Let's put the eight here in the hundreds place and the two in the thousands place. Now the seven did its job, it multiplied by everything on top, and this two we already used. So let's go ahead and talk about this eight, which is really 80. So make sure we put a placeholder underneath the one to represent that. Now we take this eight, multiply by three, that's gonna be 24. So we're gonna put the four here and carry the two. After that, we'll take this eight and multiply it by one, which is still eight. And then if you add two to that, that's gonna be 10. So we're gonna put a zero in the hundreds place and carry a one into the hundreds place. And eight times four is gonna be 32 plus one. And that's gonna be 33. So we'll put a three here and another three here. We can go ahead and add these partial products now. All right, so we add these one plus zero, that's still going to be one. I'm gonna put that here. Then we have nine plus four, that's gonna be 13. We'll put the three and carry the one. And if we go ahead and add one plus eight plus zero, I believe that's gonna be nine, we'll put a nine down here. Then we have two plus three, that's gonna be five. We'll put a five. And then last but not least, we have this three here, and that's gonna be in that 10 thousandths place. So our final product here is gonna be 35,931. So there you have eight different practice problems where we went ahead and practiced using the standard algorithm for multiplication. If you found the video helpful, please consider giving the video a thumbs up and letting me know in the comment section down below, and maybe even share it with a classmate or friend who might also find it helpful. So as always, keep up the great work that you're already doing, and I'll see you in the next one.